we have a Synology NAS. It's the DS1511 Plus. So it's the 1510 Plus. It's a 5 bay NAS. I believe this is the 2011 version, so it's the latest version. Uh, includes a three year manufacturer warranty as standard. So let's take a look and see what comes inside the actual box. So, first we get some warranty, warranty information there, a quick installation guide and user guide, and uh, a couple of, well come read this first, so a couple of notes about the, uh, the system. In here we have standard UK 3 pin mains power cable. That's a Ethernet cable, a second Ethernet cable because the uh, NAS actually has two Ethernet ports in the back for redundancy. And we have some screws for the hard drives to mount the hard drives into their bays. So that's everything there. Finally, we have the actual NAS unit itself. Let's just take this out of the box. Just get rid of the box. Let's Here's the NAS box itself. It's quite well wrapped as we can see. And there we go. So there's your power button there, your five drive bays. Nothing too special to see around the sides or the top. And on the back we have the two ethernet ports, um, which is why we've got the two cables, four USB ports, two eSATA ports down the bottom. That's your power cable sits in there and two nice big fans to keep the hard drives cool. Um, that does look like a VGA port when you remove that socket there, but apparently that's just for servicing. So it's not really going to be used for anything else. So there we go, that's the Synology DS1511 Plus. We'll stick a couple of hard drives in and see how it performs. Okay, so here we have our Synology NAS unit uh, unboxed and we've got the screws to mount the hard drives here. Now here we have, I've purchased three of these Western Digital hard drives. Um, if I just open this. There we go. So you get a booklet, the actual drive itself, and a small... So here is the drive itself. So there's the hard drive, it's a, a three terabyte hard drive there. Western Digital Green hard drives, very, very good hard drives, highly recommend them. Um, they also come with a small PCIe SATA host bus adapter card, which we won't need obviously because it's going straight into the NAS. So I've got three of these drives all together. Um, I could only get my hands on three for the moment. Uh, I will be purchasing another two at some point uh, in the very near future as soon as they're back in stock but uh, this should allow me to get started with my RAID 5 array and I can also add the last two discs as and when and just expand the, the uh, array um, so I'm using three terabyte discs across the board the only thing you have to remember with these Western Digital green drives is that the disc, park, uh, the disc head park time is set at 8 seconds which isn't really ideal so you get a utility I'll put the uh, a link down in the description of this video but you get a utility called wdidle3.exe uh, which you run uh, via a boot device like a USB uh, device just to boot to a command, prom command prompt with the drive connected 
quickly run the tool and that will change it from uh, that will either completely disable the disk park head time or set it to five minutes so I've set these to five minutes uh, which should prolong their life now these just mount into the drives here so we unlock the drive bay press in to release and this slides out hard drive will mount in here like so and we use the screws just to screw the hard drive in place and then we'll slide the hard drives back in and get started so I'm just going to go away and quickly place these three hard drives into their caddies and into the actual unit itself okay so as we can see here the hard drive is safely screwed into the caddy both sides I've already put two in so this is the final one of the three to go in you simply slide it into the unit and it clicks down in place and you pull the small notch here down to lock it in place and that's it so that's our three drives now installed so let's take a look at the software side and the initial setup okay so what I've done so far is start the Synology assistant the installation assistant make sure you've been to the Synology website and downloaded the latest DSM, the Disk, uh, Disk Station Manager. It's 3.1 at the time of uh, installing this. Once that's been downloaded, follow the installation through. It's very simple to install. Next, next, next. Uh, type installation. Point it towards the uh, the DSM version you've downloaded, and you'll come to this screen where it formats the system partition. Um, installs DSM to the hard drive and now it's writing configurations. So uh, we'll let this complete and uh, hopefully be able to log in to the Disk Station Manager interface and uh, have a look at some of the settings. Okay, so once the installation is complete, uh, we've got our Synology Assistant, which I've just put down here in my uh, bar down the bottom. Once you open that, it will look for your Synology servers. Now I've got two listed here because I've installed both LAN ports into the back of my router. So um, it assigns both a DHCP, so if one was to fail it still has a backup. So you click on any of these and click connect. You then type in your password, your username and password. Now by default the username is admin and there's no password. So you then log in to the Disk Station Manager, and here we can set up, create a volume, create users, assign privileges, access files, and discover more applications. If I just close that for now, up here we'll see more of our settings. Now, each one of the, every one of these, you can just drag across into your desktop here, and they'll be listed as a, a quick launch icon. So. We find our options in here, so control panel, backup restore, quick start, and so on. Um, we've got more options in here, so we can select our username password. So by default, it's the password field is empty, so you would want to change that as soon as possible, really. Um, volume usage, I've not created my volume yet, so there's nothing listed in there. Um, and you can customize your desktop and a few other bits and pieces there. So um, We've also got control panel, uh, system information, resource monitor. So let's just have a quick look at control panel. So we've got a lot of um, stuff in here to do with file sharing, network services, system, and application settings. So um, hopefully I'll be using this as an iTunes server as well. So I may create a video covering that, and in the future as an add an IP camera. I'll be using the surveillance station as well. But as I do bits and pieces, I hope to create more videos and keep you informed as I go along. So there you go. That was the Synology DS1511 Plus, the initial installation. So uh, I'm going to go away and have a quick play with uh, all of these settings and start creating my volume. I hope you found this video useful.